Hey guys, Oliver here from Spitfire Audio. In this video, we're going to look at a piece I've composed using our Percussion Swarm library. I've also used the Hans Zimmer strings, Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions, Symphonic Brass, Symphonic Woodwinds and Orchestral Swarm. I'm going to play you the whole thing and then we're going to look into details. <laughs> So as you can hear, it adds some very, very unique textures there. And for me, the library is in basically three parts. So you have the uh, tonal percussion like xylophones, uh, tongue drum, uh, crotales, chimes, glockenspiels, etc. You always have uh, single hits as well. And then you have this wonderful thing called pitch cloud that I'm using here in my intro. Just kind of aleatoric hits creating these wonderful textures. And then the swarms, of course, um, the main thing of the, of the library. So you have... And they're uh, recorded in swell, so I actually don't need to touch the dynamic and the expression there. really beautiful sound just going to play you a couple more just to kick the whole thing off and you have a lovely selection of mics here so you have stereo close close valve mid mix tree outriggers and ambient and i'm playing a lot with those uh, kind of mic positions so i can put certain things in different perspectives this one the glockenspiel i have quite far back because i have it um, as, a, as a counter answer here to my heavy percussion. And this is my, uh, from my point of view, the second part of the library, which is uh, the heavier atonal percussion. So, Damaris. Let's hear a couple more. And as said, you have, uh, for example, here the Udu, you have short hits. Softer hits as well. And as well, the, uh, the clouds, same principle as before. Mm -hmm. 
can of course be a very inspiring tool. So I'm kicking off this piece basically with the, with the piano. So that's my main thing. I'm a, I'm a piano player, so I usually start my compositions with a piano. Sometimes I take it out and I just use it as a composing tool. But in this case, I leave it in. So it just goes from basically A major. To B minor, back and forth. That's my main motif here. Same chords, just a different inversion. That's why it sounds slightly different. So the melody is going down. And then we're going from F sharp minor. E major. Uh, D flat minor. To D major. And that's basically the whole composition. Uh, I'm, I'm arranging it uh, differently. So uh, it kind of builds up first in a big kind of arc and then it flattens down and I'm using in the end all this sparkly beautiful stuff but we'll get to it later. So I'm kicking off with the tubular bells swarm here together with the crotalis pitch clouds, chime and phones, uh, pitch clouds here. Oh, and these anklangs, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it to be honest, is an Indonesian instrument. It's basically uh, bamboo tubes um, kind of uh, woven together. Really cool sounds. And here, for example, I'm, I'm using a little bit of the closed valve to get a bit of definition, but I'm also adding a lot of reverb. And for it not to kind of die abruptly, I'm sending a little bit of delay onto my Echo Boy channel here. It's the gentle swarm to start the tune. Oh, and we have these bowed effects as well, for example, in the marimba or crotalis. Very nice. Very beautiful stuff. Pantam here. Uh, we all know what instrument that is. Let me just play you um, some hits here. Got a soft, gentle touch there. But again, I'm using a swarmed uh, version here. Let me just play you all the swarm together here, all the percussion swarm elements. The piano. Oh, and this xylophone hot rod stick swarms here they're like they're pretty much my favorite of the library because it's mainly percussive but you have just a touch of uh, tonality what a unique sound right there And then the strings come in, I show you uh, how I've arranged them, but let's quickly have a look at the piano. So it's the uh, Oliver's piano from the OPW library. I'm using a lot of reverb here with a Glacier Spatial um, IR here, so quite a long reverb. Uh, then I'm EQing it a little bit, so I'm adding a little touch on the low end, taking out the mids and the high. So kind of a typical uh, smile EQ setting for my piano there. Then uh, compression, quite a high ratio. So I'm compressing it quite a lot. I, I don't want it to jump out. And actually, while I'm compressing it quite hard, it almost becomes a little bit of a different piano. So if you listen really closely on the headphones, you can also have here like the kind of the hammer impact quite a lot through that uh, compression there. External reverb as well, here my Pro-R reverb, 
uh, Vienna Hall, Concert Hall Vienna, uh, fairly long reverb. I guess I could turn it up a little bit as well. EQing that reverb as well, because I felt in my mix that it got a bit, almost a bit too heavy in the low mids. So I decided to at least take out some of them in the reverb. Uh, I might mix it further after this tutorial actually, and uh, you can check out the link below to see the final master. Uh, I'm adding a little bit of delay as well, a bit of a trick to add space. So you don't only add external reverb, but you also add external delay just a touch. And I'm using here the Echo Boy, uh, one of my preferred delays from Sound Toys. Echo Time 8th in this case, kind of a medium setting, medium feedback all the way up the mix. So I don't want to have a dry signal on my bus. I just want, want to have the affected signal there. I'm adding a little bit of saturation on that tape delay. But again, here, just, just very little. I don't want it uh, the actual effect. I just want to create a little bit of space. So that's my piano. Then my strings down here. So Oliver Arnold's Waves, I absolutely love those. Just let me play this for you, just the strings here. And I just work so wonderfully with all the swells up here as well. So let me just put them back in. So basically I'm giving around these swells to different instruments, just a bit of a play, also for you to, to, to see all the different patches in the percussion swarm library. So again, here the swarm stick, xylophones, um, adding the notes there or adding the tonality to go with the swells here. I'm adding a harp swarm because I feel that also fits quite nicely with the percussion swarm library and it's actually one of my favorites. And this is kind of the second library I believe we've released after the original mandolin swarm. And it's, it's kind of my favorites out of those because it su has such a gentle touch. Using the gallery mic here, which means the mic's up in the galleries, so it's like a very distant sound. But I just want to give it a little bit of a kind of fairy dust on top there, just a harp uh, swarm. And I'm using here Albion 5, Travelling Tremolos. And the Crotalis Pitch Cloud. Beautiful touch, just very, very gentle, but it's like snowflakes around, around your composition. So in this first bit, I'm letting the waves do their job, mainly. I'm adding a little bit of chamber strings, flautando, cello and violin. Just hinting on the melody. Here they are, chamber strings, flautando legato, chamber strings, highly recommended if you don't own them yet. Very useful in all kinds of settings. And then here I'm changing the sound, so I want to go bigger, so I'm starting to use the Hans Zimmer strings uh, flautando patches here, which are just really otherworldly. It's kind of a unique sound there. There's so many players, but they're playing like this gentle uh, articulation. It's like a whisper. As you can see here, I'm programming expression and dynamics to help along 
the realism and also the kind of breathe life into those virtual instruments. So what's happening up here, the tongue drum soft sticks, they sound really cool and I'm doubling up the piano here. Let's just have a listen by themselves. So this fits quite nicely to the whispery strings I've just showed you. Then I want to have a quick look what else I'm using down here. So I'm using the orchestral swarm. It's the same concept as the percussion swarm, but applied to the rest of the orchestra. So woods, strings and brass. Here I'm using the Woodwinds High a setting called Whisper Swarm. So very gentle. It's barely there, but it is. <laughs> uh, and then I'm using here a little bit more of a moving kind of uh, setting or a moving articulation, so semitone mordant. Almost using it as a, a riser going into my next section. I will show you everything in context. Then here, just a normal flute, symphonic woodwinds, playing a bit of a counter melody. Very simple, using all the mics here, full force. And then I'm using some brass down here, symphonic brass. I'm using the horn solo, then the horns A6, so six players, trumpets at six as well, six players, and then orchestral swarm, what I've used before, but in the brass format. And here I'm uh, using the swells going into the next section, which sounds like this. Quite cool. Let me play you my horn arrangements here. Together with the strings. And then again, together with everything, now you know all the individual sections. Maybe let's mute the piano. Okay, so that's the next section. Let's first have a look at the string arrangement, which is kind of the carrying force there. Let's have a listen. So I'm using the Hans Zimmer strings legato uh, for everything. So before I said I'm using the Superfly Tando, I'm using the violins there in the gallery, Superfly Tando, so to create that whispery atmosphere. And here I'm going full on legato. The piece is kind of unfolding.
Hans Zimmer strings all together. And then here I'm switching to my next section where the swells are getting a little bit more percussive and a little more heavy. So let me play you this together. The glockenspiel here, glass glockenspiel. So again, it's these two waves that play into each other. So per chord, I'm doing a wave, so I'm going A major, and then it's kind of an answer going B minor. If I play you with the strings, then you can understand much better what I mean here. And it gives you a different touch than your typical percussion where you would go boom, tsuputang, or something like that, you know, like with big taikos. It just helps swelling and it blends in so nicely with the strings there. Up here, again, I'm doubling up the piano with some xylophone hits. Then down here, my brass arrangement. Let me just play this. Actually, I'm going to play you the brass and woodwinds arrangements because there's not too much happening in the woods. Here I want the trumpets to overlap because I'm using legato articulations, so the notes will have to overlap for the legato transition to be triggered. Let's hear again with the strings, so you can kind of analyze a little bit what the brass are doing in context with the strings. So helping along with the swells, but then also doing a couple of counter melodies there to add interest. I'm keeping it fairly simple because I don't want to overcrowd my composition because I hear a lot of swarms and little bits and bobs. And, and that's the, the interest and the exciting bit within this composition. So then in the end, I'm easing out. I'm going back into the pitched cloud here and my main theme comes in, but this time played by the glockenspiel, chimes, pantam hits, uh, etc. I've added the waves. I'm not sure whether I'll keep them there. It's quite nice and delicate just having the chimes there and the glockenspiel. Um, let's just have a listen with the strings. Cool.
Cool. If you would like to listen to the final version of the piece, please click the link below. I'm going to play it to you one more time as is. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and we're happy to help you and get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.